way office is. CEO's office? Ah, uh, yes. Take the lift. First floor, you can't miss it. Is that also where I find Dr. Warner? Ah, uh, he's in the IT room, just checking some security footage. How do I get there? Oh, oh I can take you, officer. Detective, it's at a key. Well, this way. I know this hospital like the back of my hand. <laughs> Secure the scene. I'll join you soon. Get the Ricky. Yeah, I've just arrived on site. IT? Yeah. What's all this about? Anthrax. Anthrax. Come on, Damo. Almost there, I swear. Just show me how that envelope ended up in my office. I mean, what kind of lunatic even sends anthrax in the post? And why? You said it was the next attack? Here. Yep, that's Viv bringing in the mail. Hey, fast forwarding, fast forwarding, and there's you leaving for the day, mail unopened. Okay, keep going. Right, cat's away, the rats come out to play. Possibly we had a tipple too many. In my office, on my desk, with my whiskey. And there we go, whoopsie, envelope ends up on the floor. Which is where I found it, rewind. Who delivered the mail to the PA's desk? Okay, backwards, backwards. Aha. Uh -huh. The end. Oh, Chris, I have Detective Hetariki to see you. Of course, don't go, Leanne. Detective, what can you tell us? We're treating your office as a crime scene, and our forensics people are collecting the contaminated mail for testing. Mm, how long will that take? By tomorrow, I'm guessing. In the meantime, I have some questions. Chris, I'll need you to come with me, and anyone else who was in the room when the envelope was opened will need a decontamination shower and post-exposure prophylaxis. Okay, let's get this over with Drew, Damo, you two. Uh, what about the people who handled the letter? To be on the safe side, yes. Well, that's you, Leanne. Oh, oh dear. Oh, lucky I was wearing my protective crystal. <laughs> and Vivian, and your late-night playmates, Drew. Thanks, Nicole. Now for the rest of our merry band. <laughs> All right, chest X-ray next, then we'll get you started on some antibiotics. Okay. I'm fine. Did you say something about anthrax? Uh, anthrax scare, unknown white powder in an envelope addressed to me. To you? It's probably harmless. But we'll assume the worst until we hear different. And you may have inhaled spores, so... So antibiotics, I know the drill. But it must be a joke. I mean, who would do something like that and why? Uh, very good questions. Meanwhile, though, since you handled the envelope... Oh, God. Did I? Well, try not to be alarmed, but you will need a blood test, too. Just to be on the safe side. Sorry. There we go. Surely this is overkill. Well, my experience with anthrax is limited, but severe cases are pretty horrific. And there's more crazies out there than ever? Hmm, seems like it sometimes. Why pick on Shulman Street, though? Money, I'm guessing. Freaks. Speaking of... Your co-conspirators all over Chris's desk like white powder. Right, TK and the Army. I'll be back with you soon, Mum. And you, Damo. Bet you're sorry you elbowed your way into mail delivery now. I didn't elbow anyone. But when you handled that envelope, you were unwittingly dicing with death. Only because it was left lying around on the triage counter. Desi was nowhere to be seen. I was busy. So no one saw it arrive? No, not me. What did the message say that came with it? Wasn't one. Well, that's odd. But hang on, you rushed up to warn Chris. What tipped you off? Well, there was some kind of cryptic communication, yes. Well, what did it say? Something about the Boston hailing. Oh, God, you don't think they're having another crack, do you? Who? Oh, the cyber... Oh, the, an anonymous tip, no idea who's. Well, still, uh, you, you'd better tell Detective Hitariki. Quick smart. Wilder, finally. No, 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 now's a good time. I'm on a break. Mm. So, start from the beginning. Uh, well, I, I know that you got busted with weed at school, and I know that you're fighting with Saskia about it. So what's your side of the story? Okay, go ahead, I'll wait. Your son? Uh, yeah. And my ex is playing bad cop, so... Good luck being good cop. <laughs> Thank you. You know seen Billy? Madonna? No, sorry. He's not picking up and it's kind of urgent. He's probably on a call out. If you see him, tell him he needs to get a blood test. What for? Maybe you got him pregnant. I think so. I know. What is this? The great Ferndale Bake Off. So it was a joke gone wrong? Oh, oh who knows? 
Look at the state of the world. People losing the plot right and left. And there's no justice. Well, hardly any. Yeah. So how's the flat without Marty? No time to even notice with this one. And Jack's moved Hamish in, so it's all go. Oh, well, I didn't even know he'd been discharged. Just this morning. Oh, well, Hamish was very brave, risking his life to save Louis. I hope he plays it safe from now on, for Jack's sake. Yeah, me too. Are you up for a walk in the park? I am definitely game if you are. <laughs> Nothing I'd enjoy more. And I promise, no more ghost stories. <laughs> You loved him deeply. And he was taken so suddenly. It'll get better. It's how he died there. And another cop betrayed him. But the police must be looking into that. Well, they're just letting everyone think that Curtis is the one who went oh. bad. Closed the case. You know, he'd never do that. No, you and I know that. And the truth will come out in the end. It always does. Is that a premonition? <laughs> I think it might be. Well, I'll take that one. <laughs> All right, Picky. We'll make a move. Are you happy to keep walking? Yeah, all day long. I can't tell you how much good it does for me to see this little one. <laughs> I'm available any time. No booking required. <laughs> Thank you, Leanne. She soothes my soul. <laughs> Selfish, really. Five bottles. Oh, I didn't think you were in today. Um, Edmund, I'm just taking a home. Everything okay? Hmm? How's Picatia? Yeah, she's good. Um, she's really Anne, so I should. Yeah. Well, take care. <laughs> what did Marty want? Um, just saying hello. How's she been? Oh, well, she is an angel. <laughs> you know, if you want to catch up with them properly, I'm happy to mind Picatia. Thanks, but no. Oh, why not? Anyone can see you miss each other. Where's the heart? Leanne Beckhoff, I'm not interested in Marty. Okay. Sorry. Okay, I know you mean well, but I, I just want to be on my own. I'd hate to see you miss your chance, that's all. Marty is a lovely man. Yeah, well, so is Curtis. I can't just forget him. I don't want to forget him. What I want is to know why he died. Ah, oh, that's